What's cracking, guys? Omar Isaf here, back with another video, back with a special guest, someone right here, Alex. That uh, I'm gonna call you out here, bro. I thought you had unlimited grip strength. Okay, unlimited. But the yoke today, uh, actually, it wasn't the yoke. It was the farmer's walk. Was kind of humbling. Absolutely. Yeah, I was. Uh, impression of uh, Alex's last video. Guys, let me tell you. There is no reason to do squats. Compare yourself to others with that lift. Let me tell you why. Strongman is awesome. Strongman is anti-minimalist. Strongman, you have to be strong in your whole body, not just three lifts. Eric Bugenhagen. Look, did I show you a picture of Eric Bugenhagen? Eric Bugenhagen. Pictures of people competing that aren't me. So, uh, that's basically the gist of it. Beta Destiny, Order 66. This should be proof in itself that a uh, concurrent is the way to go. So, this is kind of like what I do and naturally enhances how I follow my training program. And it really is, it's the best way to manage your recovery because if all you do is pulls off the floor, your lower back's gonna get fucking fried. <laughs> and so, hope this video helps you out. That's how you get a bigger deadlift, Alpha Destiny style. It worked for me. So let me stop that right there and tell you how to actually increase your deadlift, Alpha Destiny style. Um, tell everyone that you're gonna pull 600 conventional. Do your deadlift, stall on your deadlift, rotate your bands constantly and make no progress. Whine that you've made no progress. Whine about your leverages. Claim that it's your elbows that are at fault. Then try an easier variation and pull 585 that way. Claim that it's a deadlift. Then claim that you never claimed a 600 pound conventional deadlift. Then attribute that false system for accomplishment to band work and your superior programming. And then use that 585 hack deadlift to sell an ebook. Yeah, e started. Even though I already had a good level of muscle mass, you know? I think Alex so. just, just goes like this all the time. And he's just like, pretends he has big traps. He just rolls his shit. Yeah, man, I, I'm flexing 24-7, bro. Alex yeah. is like this. No, that's... And you just get those neck veins. But the thing is, like, uh, it's not even... <laughs> I, I don't consider myself to be that impressive, bro. I, 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 think, I think you're yeah. very impressive. I don't, I don't, a nice face, man. <laughs> nah, bro, I mean, uh. So Alpha Destiny, I'll just, I'll go out and say it, obviously. <laughs> Makes a video about partials saying you should pretty much agrees with everything I said. And yet in the comments, people are like, Alex, destroy Eric, really handed it to him, destroyed him. Wow, you guys are blind. You guys, I swear to God, watch my second video of the day. Let's just recap what I said from the video today. Don't exclusively do partials. They will have no carryover to your full range of motion lifts, which most people care about. That's just the way it is. Most people want to squat a lot, they want a conventional deadlift a lot, and they want to bench a lot. That's reality. A partial above the knee rack pull will have virtually zero carryover to your deadlift. It's not to say it won't have any. It will I have thought it was time to have a talk with his sister, Tiffany, in hopes of learning something new about him. Using my experienced team of Bulgarian scientists as agents, we have indeed managed to contact her and garnered quite the information. This is what we have gathered thus far. Before we delve into her DMs, we should first look at her training. She trains similarly to Alex, and it's fair to assume that she runs something like naturally enhanced judging by her use of bands and variations of conventional lifts. Another reason I assume she runs naturally enhanced is because she has actually gone down in strength, which is one of the program's main functions. Funny thing, this has even led to injury, claiming that she has broken her back. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. 
Getting into the juicier stuff, Alex's sister has confirmed to us that she is 5 foot 1, which means that Alex is indeed 5 foot 3 considering his need to wear lifts and this picture from his meet, where he also decided to wear heeled shoes, unlike his sister. It should also be noted that Alfa Destini has since deleted this image from his Instagram, proving that he's backpedaling once again and probably did it to hide his true height, which should be around 5 foot 3. It also seems like our boy Alex is quite the narcissist. Who could have guessed? His sister claims he's acting superior due to him having a YouTube channel without the need to work, while she herself apparently works countless hours. She also seemed very interested in our Bulgarian alpha male by even exchanging matching photos. How, how tall are you, buddy? Five foot nine. All right, I'm five six. You're five four at least. Three, three inches taller than me, buddy. <laughs> five foot four at least. You should stand up because we can barely yeah. see you on the screen. What the fuck that is? Oh, I'm a surgeon. Oh, I'm a surgeon. I'm a surgeon.